Hi, this is Theo from Pragablocks.com. Today I'm going to show you one of the drawers that I use to store all my art supplies. This is a small cabinet at the corner of my room. I use one of the drawers to put my art supplies and for the rest of my supplies I put it into another drawer from my table that will be featured in a separate video. Today I want to show you what's inside this drawer. On top of my cabinets are some watercolor palettes that I have put out to dry because I have just used them. This is Mission Go. The box is actually Winsor and Newton Dulux Sketcher Box. I like this box because there are six mixing well and you can put full pens inside so you can bring a lot of watercolor paints out. This is Kisho Gansai palette. I bought this on Amazon Japan or from eBay. I cannot remember exactly But these are the Japanese pens and these are the Kuretake Gansai Tanbi pens. These are much larger and these are actually Daniel Smith watercolor sticks that I have cut up to put inside these large pens Otherwise, they will not be able to fit into pens like this. I like this palette as well because it's large and it's lightweight and this is my Daniel Smith watercolor set. This is a Rembrandt box. So basically any manufacturers, whenever they use metal box, the shape of the box is roughly the same. Later on, I'll show you all the different variations. And sometimes when I am cleaning my fountain pens, I will put them out into my pan here, the box here to dry it. My cabinet is very close to the window so um, the colors, the wet paints or the fountain pens that are just being cleaned, they dry pretty quickly. And these are some of my sketchbooks, Stillman and Burns sketchbooks. Alright, let's take a look at what's inside. I'm using an ultra wide angle lens so that it can capture the whole drawer. These two are Karen Dutch Neo Color 1 and 2. They are actually pastels, wax pastel. This is not water soluble. You can see that it's quite new. I actually bought this many months ago, but I haven't gotten around to use it. This is water soluble, 15 colors. They come with uh, options of uh, even more colors. So these are quite fun to use, but I haven't tried them out much yet. These are Karen Dutch fan color. I think they are watercolor pencils. Also very new. This is Karen Dutch fan color as well, but these are actually pen colors. I bought many of these sets to try, but um, I haven't gotten around to try them yet. And these are some of my watercolor boxes. This is White Knight's 12 full pens. This is a nice set for beginners because it's quite affordable and you can find it on eBay. The quality is quite good, although the colors sometimes they appear to be a bit chalky. And this is the Winston Newton sketcher box. These are actually empty. I like to keep them around because um, Sometimes I like to put colors, specific palettes into these boxes just to try it. And I like to bring them overseas when I'm on holiday because they are so small and so lightweight. This is another empty watercolor box. This is the Derwent um, Aquafine watercolor box. This is the Winston & Newton Bijo watercolor box. Uh, it's a metal box. So I store some extra colors here. And this is the Bijo box with integrated water bottle. The layout is actually the same as this uh, Bijo box. So you can put this water container on the right side and the water inside um, here, you can actually fill up this container here two times. This is a very convenient all-in-one set, although I seldom actually use it. 
because I can bring my water bottle out and I can bring a glass bottle like this I can pour water into this bottle and clean my brush like this also I must say that having an all-in-one set like this can be quite convenient at times this is the Kramer pigment set that I have reviewed probably a few months ago this is 80 US dollars on Amazon.com so it comes with 14 full pens and it's really worth the money for 80 US dollars because the colors are fantastic now the key characteristics of Kramer pigments is their paints they are quite granulating so if you like the textural look um, this is the brand to get for 80 US dollar it's really worth it this is a Winsor & Newton enamel box this is the large box when I bought it it came with Winsor & Newton pen colors but I have since replaced them with blocks color that is spelled as B-L-O-C-K-X because they sent me some colors to review so um, there were quite a lot of colors I have to find a big box to put them all in so this is the only box that I have that is large enough to put all the colors in now there are 12 colors in this row and 12 at the bottom row the middle row here is actually quite big so it's too big to fit in colors like this and it's also too small to put in half pens all right yeah I think it's too small to put in half pens but it's great it's a great place for you to put your brushes your portable brushes and these are my empty bottles that I use to bring outdoors uh, for washing my brush oh here's another smaller Winsor & Newton heavily enamel box some of these are Winsor & Newton colors some are Daniel Smith and this is actually one of my more well-worn boxes um, compared to the Daniel Smith box they are very old they have come a long way I really love this box because um, it's very solid but it's heavy and this is a rotary set of calligraphy pens so there are two nibs here some cartridge I haven't used this yet so a while back a viewer asked me to review the Hobain artist watercolor I bought this on eBay because they were selling at a good price I haven't gotten around to use it yet so the review for this is probably going to appear it's not going to appear anytime soon because I like to finish using all the colors here before I move on and this is a deluxe watercolor set made by M. Graham so M. Graham they have different uh, watercolor sets this is the deluxe set with 10 colors they also have a beginner set with 5 colors and the beginner set is um, quite worth the money and it's a good set for you to um, try out watercolor because the colors are very intense and it's really worth the money with only five colors you don't have so many colors to confuse you and you can really learn a lot about watercolor mixing so this is very good uh, quality watercolor the only downside is they use honey so they are quite difficult to dry in some uh, climate or they might not even dry so if you are going to put them into watercolor boxes like this and you put this box into your bag the paints they are going to flow all around so um, M. Graham is not a paint that is suitable for use in, in watercolor boxes like this this is a Winsor Newton tin box these are the watercolor sticks that I have reviewed recently I don't really like them so I put them here in this box the Kuretake Gansai Tanbi set so these are the large Japanese watercolor pens they are a bit chalky compared to western watercolors but the pen size is really large and I really 
like this size sometimes so these are the pens that are great if you like to create large washes or if you use a large watercolor brush I think these are more suitable so this is Kuretake Gansai Tanbi and these are the Kisho Gansai Tanbi set the reviews for them are actually on my YouTube channel as well as on my blog and let's see what we have here this is Smink watercolor uh, box with 12 colors if I'm not wrong um, the reason why I bought this box is because another viewer asked me to review this I have actually reviewed this on my blog already so if you want to check out that review it's on my blog but I haven't created a video review yet so that's why I bought this you can see the this metal box and this Rembrandt box they are pretty much similar this is a Paybio watercolor box set that I bought here at Overjoy Art Store here in Singapore it costs only US $10 and it comes with colors but the colors are really lousy quality so I, the reason why I bought this is because this metal box is very good I mean for $10 for a watercolor box like this I think it's quite worth the money even though the colors are lousy you can actually just dig out the colors and replace it with higher quality colors but the box can be reused and that is the good thing about this and this is Van Gogh watercolor this is a 12 half pen box as well the box design is very similar to the one earlier from Pabio now the colors for Van Gogh I think the quality is somewhere between student grade and artist grade the colors are vibrant quite strong and very nice but um, one thing I noticed when using this box set is I used up the colors much quicker compared to other brands that I've used so um, I think the binder and pigment ratio perhaps there's more binder than pigment but overall I would say the quality of this is quite good I have a text review on my blog so you can check it out and this is the Sanilia uh, watercolor set this is a rather cute set Aqua Mini I think this company is from France uh, I bought this set again because I, a viewer wanted me to review this I have the text review on my website already but I have not created a video review so I'll probably review this uh, in the future but uh, not anytime soon as you can see I have a lot of things to review most of the things are actually bought um, many years ago so I haven't actually finished using them yet and this is my box of Copic markers I have um, the Copic sketch markers the Copic sketch markers are markers with this uh, oval shape and we have the more traditional uh, markers so this is the standard Copic marker which has sort of a square uh, shape to it I'm sorry for the noise I think somebody is using a jet spray to wash some stuff this is the refill for the markers so each bottle of refill can actually fill up the markers many times the marker one marker like this is quite expensive and without the refill it's really expensive so uh, the refill does help cut down the cost by quite a bit I used to have a lot of different colors for my Copic markers but now I'm reduced to only grays, warm grays and blacks if you have too many colors um, first of all you have to spend a lot of money to get all the colors and I mean if I want to learn about colors I think watercolor is a better medium it's more affordable compared to markers like this so um, right now I'm reduced to using grease just to save money and oh 
Okay, these two are Daniel Smith watercolor sets. On the right side, this is the watercolor essential set with um, two sets of primary colors. So there's Hansa Yellow Light, New Gambosh, Krina Crydon Rose, Pyro Scarlet, Thalo Blue, French Ultramarine. And this set is the watercolor Prima Tech set. All these colors are actually created from gemstones, so I think they are quite granulating. They are fun sets to use. Each tube is 5 ml. Let's see what I have here. This is the Mars Lumograph pencil set. And this is a pencil set from the Urban Sketchers Symposium in Manchester. I haven't opened that up yet. This is a free goodie from Super 5. I think it's waterproof ink. I'm not sure if it's pigmented or not. I haven't used that yet. It's just a sample. And at the back of my drawer, there are some um, Hiroshi Zuku ink. These are fountain pen inks made by Pilot. They come with many different colors. I have a few different colors. Now, if you want to check out all the colors, the, the reviews are on my website. And this here is the, let's see if I can take this out. You can see that this is still in plastic wrapping. I bought this perhaps two, three years ago and I haven't gotten around to use this. These are calligraphy ink palette uh, kits so um, these little bottles they are they look to me like pigmented ink they are colored of course I think I'm going to um, learn calligraphy one of these days um, that will be quite fun oh this is another free goodie from our friends at the Urban Sketches Hong Kong group so they gave this out during the symposium at Manchester it's just a pencil case, but uh, a pencil case is a really practical gift to give out. It's so useful. And these are some goodies that were given out during the Urban Sketches Symposium. This is the Durban Graphic Line Painter. This is the Durban Graphic Line Marker. And this is a Conte uh, Pastel Pencil. I haven't used them yet. This is the Da Vinci cleaning soap for brushes. I have already reviewed this in one of my uh, video. So I use this to clean uh, brushes, dirty brushes. And this is my box of Daniel Smith watercolor tubes. Lemon yellow. Italian burnt sienna so I have a lot of different colors that I use to review the box that you see much earlier on and these are moisture absorbent packs just to make sure that there is no moisture in this box and right at the corner here this is another watercolor box but this is empty I think this is a shimming box as well um, this is a nice box because it's quite big it has a lot of mixing wells um, here but only two mixing wells here it can hold full pens these are actually white knights uh, full pens this design this box design uh, is very difficult to find nowadays so if you want a large box I actually would recommend you get the uh, Winston and Newton you like sketcher box instead so they are roughly the same size and they can pack pack oh actually i think this box can pack even more colors compared to this box and this is lightweight and the last thing in my drawer is this box here with watercolors that i have bought many many years ago when I first started out learning about watercolors so when I first um, 
learn watercolors i was actually using this brand called Dela Rowney because they can be found easily here at the art store in singapore so i have a lot of Dela Rowney's that they are still with me today and over time i added uh, other brands the first brand that i added um, was actually Winston and Newton so after I started using Winston and Newton watercolors I really loved the quality and that is why I went on to buy their box sets I use a lot of burnt sienna so this is another tube of burnt sienna and I think this is Winston and Newton as well so these are the moisture packs and this is PWC PWC is a Korean brand it's made by Shinhan Art so that's probably a professional watercolor I bought these three tubes there are actually three tubes here yellow, red and where's the blue? Yeah, I bought these three tubes because again a viewer wanted me to review them I haven't used them much yet but um they are very high quality brands very very high quality the colors are very strong very intense oh by the way i forgot to talk about this these are half pants you can see these are actually half pants empty half pants that you can buy separately online so these are used to put inside boxes like this using Winston and Newton watercolors I really love the quality and that is why I went on to buy their box sets I use a lot of burnt sienna so this is another tube of burnt sienna and I think this is Winston and Newton as well so these are the moisture packs and this is PWC PWC is a Korean brand it's made by Shinhan Art so that's probably a professional watercolor I bought these three tubes there are actually three tubes here yellow, red and where's the blue? Yeah, I bought these three tubes because again a viewer wanted me to review them I haven't used them much yet but um, they are very high quality brands very very high quality the colors are very strong very intense that's all for today's video i will post links to the art products that i have reviewed in the video description below so you can check them out if you have any questions feel free to post them in the comment section so thanks for watching stay around the channel and look out for the next video which i'm going to upload very soon thanks bye